Welcome back, guys. I know it's been a while, but that isn't because I haven't been working on things, so let me show you what I've gotten myself into. I have a lot of projects that I'm working on all at the same time and this project kind of fell into my lap and I wasn't really expecting to have this project and I definitely wasn't expecting to have this project be as intensive as it has become. My main project is still my Cafe Racer motorcycle which I will be giving a very big update on soon. I just came into some problems that slowed that build down quite a bit but then also took on this very unexpected project so I have a lot of things that I've been doing and working on I just haven't been doing a lot of the YouTube things like uploading videos and editing and all that stuff do you care about this I'm not sure but let's just get into this particular build because there is somewhat of a story that goes along with it the thing is I just stumbled upon this bicycle one day while I was at work I tend to work at a computer most of the time during the day so on my breaks I like to go and take a walk along the waterfront because it is very beautiful and it's nice to just get outside and so while I'm walking along this waterfront I see this bicycle and it seems to be completely abandoned and honestly this is not the first bicycle that I have seen along this edge of the water and what's sad is a lot of people will kind of use the waterfront as a place to party on the weekends and and a lot of the time they'll just leave their trash or they'll abandon things or just use it as a dump site which is really awful but hey sometimes I happen upon things that I could find actually useful. So could I have just taken this and walked the 20 feet to the nearest dumpster and dropped it off in there and cleaned up the side of the water? I definitely could have but I am also the type of person that likes to take things that don't work and try to make them work again. Again. And so here is a new project that I am showing you today and it definitely didn't start out that way I didn't really have any plans for this bike frame and I didn't even know if I could get it working to a rideable condition I was pretty confident I could at least do that but as far as Am I going to dump a bunch of time and potentially a bunch of money into making this thing like a nice project? I definitely was not planning on that. All of this footage is from about six months ago before the winter time, all the rain and the cold and making me not want to work on any of my outside projects. But this project was supposed to be very quick and dirty. That's why it's all just GoPro footage from right now. And that's because I was just going to do a, I found a bike and then I restored it into a workable usable bicycle. So why don't we tackle at least accomplishing that part first and then after that I can go into more of what my plans have changed for this project and which direction I wanted to take it into. So we have a new bike to us at least and first things first what even is it and is it any good or is it crap and should we have just left it to rot by the water? This bike is actually not terrible of course it's not like a specialized or or a giant or a trek bike it's not going to be some super premium brand but it's also not something that you would think somebody would just trash or throw away because it's actually a semi-decent frame this is a novara jaunt double x and it came out between the years of 2013 and 2016 and you might not be familiar with this brand because it's actually exclusively sold by rei so this is an rei brand branded bicycle. As you guys have noticed it is a step through frame so this is technically a woman's bike and it is a quite small frame but it also is black which is kind of interesting because most women's frames are typically not black in color. Another interesting thing about this frame is that when I first picked it up to move it around it was extremely light. I'm used to steel frames for all of my e-bike projects and this bike frame is actually made out of aluminum 
aluminum. As I'm sure you know, aluminum is a more premium alloy for making a bike frame out of, so I went and looked up how much this bike cost when it first came out, and it was around $430 to $450. And even today on the used market, you can see these between $100 and $250 used, and so I think that this is a pretty decent find, even though it is in a bit rough shape, and yeah, it didn't ride at all because the tires were completely blown, and yeah, as you can see, the steering needs a bit of an adjustment, but aside from all the smaller things, the overall frame, it has a few dents in it, but it's actually in pretty good shape considering it's basically trash. This free bike is certainly not without its issues. As you can see, I took care of the tires basically, so now they can hold some air, and also this seat is not the original. That's why the seat post is so much smaller, shoved in there with a bunch of receipts and rocks and all kinds of other crazy stuff. This bike has no handlebar grips, the brakes are completely out of adjustment and barely work, and also the shifting system does work for the front derailleur, but the rear one, the cable is all frayed, and even though it does still technically work, it doesn't work very well, and that cable's probably gonna snap sometime soon. The rear derailleur is also bent quite a bit, so let me just take care of that with some vice grips. The good thing about aluminum is that it is very easy to bend back into shape. I was just going to use the rear wheel that came with it, although it does wobble quite a bit more than I would actually like, and because I've built so many hub motor e-bikes, I have a stockpile of rear wheels that I am not using and probably never will. I probably could have spent some time and adjusted the wheel to get it back more into alignment, but I already have a bunch of extra wheels that I'm never going to use, so let's just swap it out with a fresh one. At this point of the project, I wasn't even planning on electrifying this bike. It was just going to be a regular pedal bike that I could use, but yes, I will eventually be electrifying this bike, so I will be swapping this out yet again, but with an electric hub motor. I did give the bike a ride before swapping out this rear wheel, and the main issue was because of the severe wobble, it kept hitting the brake pads, so yeah, that just wasn't going to be an ideal situation, and with this brand new wheel, it rides so much better. All I really needed to do to get this bike in running shape was throw some tubes at it, and I could have adjusted this rim to make it spin a little more concentrically, and I also needed to just adjust the brakes. But other than that, this was a working, usable bike. I think somebody just abandoned it because it had flat tires, they didn't want to spend the money or didn't didn't have the money to do it, so they just threw this bike away, which is unfortunate because it's a completely usable bike and it's actually pretty nice. Also adjusting that rear derailleur tab made it a lot easier to put the derailleur back on, and now because I have new wheels, the brake pads don't really hit exactly where they need to be, so I'm just going to adjust those real quick and then also try to take up some of the slack in the brake line. I was actually quite surprised at just putting some new wheels front and back in the same color made such a big difference to how this bike actually looked. I was thinking it doesn't look that bad. It actually looks pretty clean and aside from some of the stickers and all that, which I will take care of later, this bike doesn't look too terrible. One thing that is terrible is this shifter system and it does technically work and I could adjust it more and I could also rebuild it by getting some new cables, but instead I'm just doing away with it completely. You might not agree with this decision to just do away with all of these shifting components, but let me explain that this is just a cruiser bike, I'm not going to be going up and down a bunch of hills, and also eventually it's going to be electrified, so with a thousand watts of power you don't even really need gears, you don't even really need pedals, you just need some place to rest your feet. Now while I do this and I take off more components making this bike look even cleaner and nicer, 
here, I will start to explain how this project started to change into something else. Once I got the bike to this rideable, usable state, it pretty much stayed like that for another two to three, maybe even four months. I didn't change anything. I was still riding with that crappy seat setup with a smaller tube just shoved in there with no clamp or anything like that. And I actually enjoyed riding the bike. It's very smooth, it's comfortable, it's lightweight, it's easy to move around. I rode this bike a lot. I rode it to my friend's house, I rode it to the grocery store and there is something very nice about having a bike that you got essentially for free and that's if you leave it even locked up you don't have to worry about it if it gets stolen then you're not really out much anything at all i made a video a while ago about the true dangers of owning an e-bike and that is bicycle theft is one of the main things that you should be worried about so having a bike that you don't really care much about is actually very nice nice. It offers you a lot of peace of mind. The other nice thing about having a crappy bike is that most people probably wouldn't want to steal it. I mean, take this bike for example. It was just laying there in the trash basically and nobody wanted it. There's something very incredible about this inversion of value because if you can find value in things that other people think are worthless, then you will be abundantly rich forever. So I rode this bike for a while and I really liked it. It. and the only things I thought it were lacking was maybe an upgraded seat and also some sort of storage compartment maybe a basket or something to pick up more groceries if I was going to do that. I was just going to pick up a rear rack and double baskets on the back and they're pretty cheap it was like 50 bucks and I was just going to do that then I was just going to electrify it and that was going to be that. Then I started thinking more a lot more and it would be so much easier and probably cheaper just to buy some pre-made baskets throw them on there and then this project would be completed totally done but that's not what I did. And even though it may not be the most economical way or the most efficient way to do this, at the end of the day, I am a builder and I like building things, custom one-of-a-kind things. And I also have a channel where I show that to other people. So instead of just buying some baskets and attaching them, why not make my own very special custom cargo bicycle but not only a bicycle an electric bicycle at this point i wasn't exactly sure how i was going to accomplish this because i have never made a cargo e-bike before i've never attempted to attach any sort of storage compartments to a bicycle before but i was pretty determined to figure out how i was going to do this i live close enough to my grocery store that i can easily get there on bike especially an e-bike and the only problem is i don't have a lot of storage storage space to take home a bunch of groceries. Although we're at the point where having your groceries delivered is almost cheaper than the gas it takes to drive to the grocery store, but not for an e-bike. Plus, I'd still like to have some reason to go outside to do something or some purpose in my life because everything is getting so automated right now. If you haven't seen my video on AI and how that's going to completely change the world, please check that out. So this is the new direction that this project is taking and if you're interested in seeing how I accomplish this, trust me, this project starts ballooning in complexity very quickly. So stay tuned for the next parts of this video series and I hope you enjoy it. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.